I'd say this was coffee, but it's water. Would you wear this usually, or is this for the character you're gonna play? Is this yours? Did you? This is not legally mine, but it is in my possession. It belongs to a relative. I don't wanna say more about that. The premise of this sketch, Tommy, is I'm gonna take you round the garden. I think it's really important that you get to see the beauty that is the nature. And it's something that I think that you could benefit from a little bit. I'm desperately trying to get into it, but the penny hasn't dropped. We're gonna start at the bird table. One of my favorite places to see in the morning. One of your favorite places? Have you noticed them in the morning at all? What? The birds? Yes, yeah. Do you like them? They're a bit, they are a bit, you know, I haven't even asked them anything. If you were with a friend and you were like, oh, this, last night this guy was chirping at me, it's a negative thing. Right. These guys get away with it. They're chirping all day long. Smell the rose, Tom. Fucking hell. Just give it a sniff. Oh, it does smell good, actually. That smells like a candle in a shop. You can put a price on this. What price would you put on this? Depending how big the candle was. Any amount of money, I guess. Have you ever bought a flower? Yeah. For who? I bought some for mum once. I've never seen them. I bought flowers. I bought, don't tell me about buying flowers because I bought flowers. I Actually, I do remember yeah. there was that girl that you bought that rose for and you put in that locker. There's a lot wrong about that story and I don't think I'll tell that story unless we get 10,000 views. So you'll release that if this gets 10,000 yeah, views? Yeah, I mean, I can tell you. So what? We'll cut here and then this can be used after the 10,000 views. A long story short, I was at primary school. I was in class six, but I was in year five. I moved up a year. You keep saying this. You always go on about how you were moved up a year at primary school. In fact, I was moved up two years. Were you? No, no, I wasn't. But I could have been. You could have been, yeah. You weren't. I like to think that we were from Mensa. One of the girls in Mensa, in my Mensa group, who were moved up a year, she bought me a rose. Thank you very much for that when she did that. But I was very embarrassed about her giving it to me, so I put it in my locker and I left it there for a couple of weeks. And then I was clearing out the locker and when I brought it out, it's it dead. And she saw it and she cried. She also bought one for someone else, so. It wasn't, it wasn't you, it was another guy in Mensa. What is Mensa? <laughs> That's something that we at Mensa keep to ourselves. This is Rocket, my friend. Give it a little stroke. What am I getting from it stroking it? Quite nice, actually. Give it a little eat. It's been washed. It's fine. It's the morning. Oh, I've just broken that, but let's just not tell anyone about that. Yeah. Mum. <sighs> fucking hell. That's a fucking big pigeon. Jesus Christ. If you were a bird, that would be you. Yeah, that's true. Look at him. I like pigeons. This, my friend, is honeysuckle. You ever suck the honey? Hmm? A bit personal. You suck the honey? Yeah. Yeah, I have. How many honeys have you sucked? 30. That's a lot. Mm. Uh, what's this? These, my friend, yeah. are named after you. I like to call them Toms, because every time I look at them, I think of you, Tom. Do you? No, I don't, but I could do. Anyone could think anything, anytime. You're often in my memory, Tom. You're often in my mind. Often... I'm not dead. You know, and I love you. Do you love me? Yeah. How much do you love me? Um, how much? I don't know. I don't know. How much? How much do you want? How much do you want? A lot, lots. Is that good? <sighs> Why garden? It's all in shops. This is all in shops. You enjoy the garden. It's beautiful. It's blue. There's blue skies. There's birds there. It's warm. It's nature. You know, we are nature, Tom. It's so lovely. What's this one? It's a sunflower. I think you're gonna like this next bit, Tom. Are we gonna sit down on the bench yes. for a bit? Yeah. In fact, the other day I was lying here and I was on TikTok and I had a really nice time. I had the sun on me. So we've got a bit of a mix here. They've got spuds and spring onions. I don't think they're spring onions. I think they're onions. Onions and spuds. A hearty meal for any lighthouse attendant or seaman. Someone who's on a boat. Gather ye around the table and have ye potatoes. What about the onions? Yes, there's onions as well. Tom, have you got the spuds? Where are you? You're Irish? Yeah, what were you? I was just an anonymous seaman from the past. Right, Tom, <clears throat> we'll nestle into this cove and have a couple of spuds and a bit of onion. Tom, you're gonna keep me warm tonight. I'll put the fire on. Tom, my wife doesn't know about me and you. I don't think I know about us. Tom, don't tell my wife about you and I. I won't. You know it, you boy? Yeah. Tommy, come lie down. 
Maybe we can spend a bit more time here. It's just me and you under this tree. Another 10 seconds is good. Mitch, Charles, Mugen, Joe Rogan. Do you mind me doing this? I don't know. You're not stopping it. It like... is a new experience. So what are we doing now? We're just peeing on the compost. So you just dripped on my foot. Meow. Are you a cat or? Yeah. Meow. Cat? You still a cat? Meow. You still doing the cat thing? Meow. You so yes. Meow. Yeah, sometimes do that. You sound like a wasp. I don't really know. I haven't really been around many cats. What's your impression of a cat? Meow. So what is that? What is that? Meow. We're learning something today. Yeah. You can't do cat impressions. No. So I'm next thing on the list, the pond. Yeah. Ow. Should we spend more time in the pond together? What, like this? Ow. Are there fish in here? No, there's no fish in here, no. What's it for then? It's just, a, it's just water. When I was 10, I won a, a, a medal for fishing in Portugal. And you didn't win a medal. No. Mm, nice to get this on the film. Any, any questions you've got for me about fishing? Well, you were about four years old, so I don't really count that as you catching the fish. <laughs> I was about 10. You sure 10. you were 10? Yeah. How do you know that? Dad had just left. You look like a frog. Ribbit. Actually, no, you'd be more of a toad. Tom Toad. All right, Tommy boy, so that was your little nature tour. What have you learned from today's <clears throat> tour? It's like homework sometimes when we're together. I thought you liked spending time with me. Yes, I've had a great day. We'll put this edit in as opposed to the other one. You're my big toady Tom. You gonna ribbit? Do I have to? Yeah. Demeaning. Ribbit. Do it like you mean it, Tom. Ah, <sighs> ribbit. Ribbit. Just do a sincere ribbit. Ribbit. <laughs> Wait, I was laughing there, sorry. What? We just, you... Sorry, just do a sense. Just you got do... yourself to blame then. If you want me to rib it earnestly, I will once, and I have. I'm like Daniel Day Lewis, you know what I mean? Ribbit. Ribbit. Nice leaf, this. Mm. You gonna come to my pad tonight? Mm. What are you doing? Mm. Not a lot by the sounds of things. I think you'd like my pad. There's space for you and me. Ribbit. Ribbit. Dragon Rat.